All right. So, um, I just, just worked this one out. Okay. Now the next one we're going to do is a variation on this and we're going to kind of start fresh in some respects, but we still have Freddie and Jimmy. Um, but now they've slowed down. Okay. Um, cause there's some friction with the sidewalk and so they're going only one and a half meters per second square, um, together. Okay. And, um, then Jimmy's going to throw Freddie, uh, out in front of him to give him a new speed. And then we want to know, so what's Jimmy's speed? Okay. Then we'll do a little follow up question. All right. So let's start with our, our sketch. So we've got, um, and, uh, you know what I'm going to do this time and it's, just so so it's a little more helpful to those of us who are not artistically inclined let's do it like this of course that's jimmy and this is freddie and the um velocity of fred jimmy is 1.5 here okay and we know their masses those are given up here um and then we have our after scenario these guys are moving here and afterwards. Okay. We've got Jimmy and Jimmy's still moving, but we don't know what that velocity is. And Freddie is moving and we do know what that one is. That's four and a half. Okay. So there we got our before and our after. All right. So there, you know, there you go. You don't, you don't have to, your sketch doesn't have to be anything cute or beautiful or artistic or anything at all. Okay. It can just be super plain like that. Okay. Let's get into the math of the thing here. And so we begin with this and let's just note, we're only dealing with the X direction. So we're going to have our combined mass of Fred plus Jimmy, and that's going to go on to F, uh, Fred, Jimmy, and that's going to be equal to the mass of Jimmy, the velocity of Jimmy, plus the mass of Fred, the velocity of Fred. Okay. Now you can see here, I just, I just didn't bother with putting like initial or final on there because what matters is I've got different uh, I've got different symbols and I know what those symbols are and they're clear. Anybody looking at it can look at my sketch and know, okay, this is what, this is what he means by that. All right. So that's the point there. All right. So let's, uh, get through some algebra here. Okay. And, um, again, I'm going to do several steps. Okay. So you're, it's probably to your advantage to pause the video and go through these steps yourself so that you could duplicate them as needed. Okay. But what we're going to end up with is, a, ooh, we're going to end up with the velocity of Jimmy. Okay. Being equal to, um, Oh, I got it right. I got, <laughs> I got it written down over here. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, velocity FJ. Okay. And this is going to be mass of Freddie plus the mass of Jimmy over the mass of Jimmy. Okay. Checking my notes on this and then minus the velocity of Freddie. Okay. And then we're going to have the mass of Freddie divided by the mass of Jimmy like this. Okay. There we go. So again, you can see what I've done. I've grouped things together. All right. So we've got speeds here and here, and I've got masses here and here, just like that. Okay. And the units on the masses, it's just, I've reduced it to a ratio. So that's going to cancel out and I'm just going to be left with the um, units for velocity. Okay. So let's plug in here and see what we can get. So the initial speed of my system is 1.5. So that's Fred, Jimmy there. And then the combined mass is 50 kilograms and Jimmy's mass is 45 kilograms. Forgot my meters per second. Okay. Minus Freddy, which is four and a half meters per second. And then I've got 
five kilograms divided by 45 kilograms like so okay and again units you can see boom boom preserves this boom boom preserves that okay so when I plug all that into my calculator what I end up getting is uh, one point it's like 1.16666 you know that kind of thing anyway so we're gonna truncate it to three sig figs call it 1.17 meters per second just like that okay there we go all right now what I want to what I want to consider is the possibility that I'm gonna try and grab a different color here A little lighter, make that little okay. Could could Jimmy throw Freddy so fast and hard that Jimmy would actually stop? Okay, could he actually stop? All right, and what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video and so think about that over and. Uh, come up with your own idea. Is is it possible? Is could is that could it happen or not? Okay, so sort of think that over. See what you think. Okay. Did you pause it? Did you? Did you did you pause it? All right. So um, what we want to have happen is. I'm going to go back to my original equation here, like this, and let's write that down. Okay, so we had MF plus MJ, and that's on to the combined initial velocity. Then we've got MJVJ plus MF onto VF. Okay, now if in the end Jimmy's not moving then that means this term here is zero okay um, so we can we can kind of say oh, oh okay so what does that mean oh well that's pretty nice because look now uh, my only unknown is this guy here because that's really what we're asking you know is it possible could he throw it fast enough can we get a number there how fast is Freddie gonna have to to go in order to stop Jimmy okay and so algebraically then that works out to be real simple what we're going to end up with is the velocity that Freddie would have to be going is going to end up being this mass of Freddie plus the mass of Jimmy over the mass of Freddie okay now if we put in our numbers we got 1.5 meters per second our combined mass is 50 kilograms over 5 kilograms just like that and that works out to have a really nice solution which is 15 meters per second okay so if if Jimmy can fling <laughs> Freddy fast enough that Freddy's going 15 meters per second then um, then Jimmy would stop okay then Jimmy would stop now if he could fling Freddy faster than that if he did a 15.1 meters per second then Jimmy would actually start to go backwards okay um, and so you know then you could sort of play different sorts of games well what if what if we wanted uh, Jimmy to go backwards two meters per second well then okay then you could run the numbers again put in two uh, here and uh, you know I put it put in whatever you want to get for your final number there okay just like that okay there we go uh, but I think that'll do it with this one so let me package this up and um, we'll look at um, some more here in just a second what are we doing next we're doing oh yeah We're going to do some ballistics. That'll be cool.